Hey everyone, and we're here at Windows Report, and in this video I will summarize the most important changes in the Windows 10 21H2 update KB5012599. That means it's Patch Tuesday, which of course happens every second Tuesday of the month. So the first great improvement we're talking about is the Search Highlights feature from Microsoft, which is designed to make the Windows Search homepage more intriguing and engaging. So now if you click the search bar on your taskbar and type something like Earth Day for example or anything else, you will get the search highlights that will display information about Earth Day related with the search, as well as Bing features such as Word of the Day. According to Microsoft experts, users may also access and learn more about Microsoft rewards offerings. While the tool appears to be more consumer-oriented, Microsoft claims that if a user is signed in with a work or school account, it can provide results related to the business. When you log in with a work account, Search will display updates from your company, suggested persons, scenes or link files, and more. Moving on, another improvement relates to the toast notifications in the notifications area. A new way to customize the color of the buttons that display in toast notifications, which can make it easier for users to distinguish between successful and critical cases, but it only works for apps that use Windows notifications rather than their own implementation. In the same time, in the Action Center, you may now enlarge an app's top three notifications by default, so you can do all this directly from the Action Center in the lower right corner. Jumping on to the fixes category, the most important fixes in this update relate to the following. A bug in Group Policy Service caused telemetry information for Group Policy Registry preferences to stop being processed. That means if you changed something in the Group Policy Registry preferences, it might have ended up not being changed. Basically, nothing happened. Next, Microsoft has addressed the problem that prevented the user account control dialog from recognizing apps that require permission. Seems like this problem was also existing on Windows 11, but they both got solved, so this is very good news. And lastly, another important fix relates to an issue that prevented Android users from signing in to various Microsoft apps, such as Microsoft Outlook and Microsoft Teams, which has now been resolved. So plenty of good fixes. And that's it, a brief summary of the latest Windows 10 update, which I hope you enjoyed, and as usual make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for the best and latest Windows news. Thank you.